Bow. What up my people, it's the boy Mr. Licks and we are back again for another vibrations here on Mr. Licks Box. First off guys, I want to say that the girl who went missing was definitely found. She was found yesterday and she is good, healthy and safe. So thank God for that for sure. Now concerning what took place in St. Martin, three young guys who saved the tourists who went into the ocean, not into the sea or whatever you want to call it. Um, so the tourists them lost control and these free boys went in and saved these guys These guys are considered heroes. So kudos to them for doing what they did in St. Martin on the French side Anyways guys, I got an article yesterday and it's entitled National Bank of Dominica may be in peril And that of course is largely due to the departure of Ross University Ross contributed a large sum of money to the National Bank and now National Bank is being considered the worst or one of the worst in the Caribbean They even compared it to Montserrat and their bank is doing much better than the National Bank in Dominica <laughs> So that is to tell you something and they're hoping that um further discussions and further journalistic work will be done in trying to figure out what is really taking place and there's no surprise no surprise whatsoever the bank makes money in a number of ways one is for loans they make money on the interest people don't want to take loans and what do you expect to happen if the bank doesn't have enough money for it to make investments then what's gonna happen not much money will be made so <laughs> Ross is gone. That's one of the things that the government always want us to do, to forget about Ross. But we cannot forget about Ross if there's not a better alternative or any alternative at all. It's a recurring effect that Ross left you. Know. Thanks to the government of Dominica for that. There's no other person to blame. And even if you don't believe it's the government of Dominica, they were the ones in charge. And we're supposed to try their best to do something about it, try to keep Ross or something. They keep telling the people lies upon lies upon lies upon lies about all they tried. And I was in the very groundbreaking ceremony of the things that they said they were fighting against <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> boy hey i tell you boy anyways guys that is what has been said i myself might re might, might withdraw my funds from the nbd because i have money there if bango bankrupt <laughs> well if you can't get money again because bango bankrupt they file bankrupt um but we'll see how that goes man anyways guys i will post that article in the description link below in the video description link so you guys can definitely check it out. Now guys, we know about the event that took place with the Labour Party. And one of the people that was speaking was my pal rep representative. My pal parliamentary representative was speaking in New York. After tropical, after Hurricane Maria, every single body in Dominica received assistance. Roofs were replaced, renovation onto homes. I mean, free of charge, not one cent. No, I find it very alarming when he's saying that everybody got assistance. I don't know what he mean. Maybe he meant by food, people getting food, or some some kind of assistance. There are still people today. Even on the video shows that there are still people today, right now today, who don't have proper rules, who don't have electricity. Who don't have a number of things even this lady that i saw was talking about not having electricity as well in this modern time that we're living in this is a video of it right there this is an isolated place from people on a whole my two children and myself living in a place where there's not much houses as a matter of fact there is no houses around us at all okay i applied for electricity and was getting connected to the Sunday 23rd of June. I was supposed to get connected an hour ago, right? A single mother always struggling and fighting for her own, you understand? I have gone to counsel my parrot, even Domlek, to find out exactly where I should go to get connected because I went to the council. Council asked me to write a, a, a letter. And let me tell you, I'm talking about Pebush, eh? That is a area in Pebush you're talking about, right? I have gone to the council. The council asked me to write a letter. I wrote the letter, nothing. I went back to council. No, that, that's the second clock you're talking about that taking over. I went back to the council, both the council, um, clerk and the chairman concerning electricity. And 
They are telling me go to my power rep. My power rep is responsible for writing a list of where posts should go. I went to my power rep. And the power rep is sending me back to the council. I, f I, f I fed up. I got fed up. I, I went... <laughs> I went to the point, paying my passage, going to Roseau to Domlek office. And they are telling me that I have to go back to my parap again. Because she's responsible of writing where posts go in. When I first wanted a house, I went to Mr. Matthew Walters. He promised to help me with my house. I saw no help. I started off by myself because I can do my thing. Let me tell you, if you ask anybody, yeah. Today, I have two houses and not for nothing, I can get electricity. You understand? On my property. All because I give in the roundabout. Can you imagine Dom Lex sending somebody to connect me and you cannot get electricity? Seriously? Huh? Tell me, people, you in my place, what would you do? Huh? You in my place, what would you do? Good afternoon. I am angry. I am not happy about it at all. All right? I shouldn't be living like that. You understand? For more than five years, a young lady of 35 years of age is up and down in to get electricity on her property and she cannot get it. This is ridiculous. Something has to be done. So when they talk about helping everybody, 100%, I do, I, that is debatable. That is very much debatable. I don't know if they talk about their people, but I know it's not the entire Dominica they're talking about for sure. <laughs> and they want to pretend like it's they that used to do things or building back roofs and stuff. Samaritan Puss played a huge role in this. It is Samaritan Puss that did this, not the government. Samaritan Puss are the people who tend to look out for natural disasters and try to help people in need. Samaritan Puss came down, there was even this individual that came down, the Christian boat that was offering medical assistance to people in Portsmouth, that they themselves tried to rush out. So when they want to pretend like it's they that doing it, it's not them, it's the foreigners that came in to do these things, and they want to pretend like it's they that doing things. All well, you mustn't be fooled by those people there, you know. Well, it must be fooled by those people that the other day I was talking about the, the, the school that hasn't been fixed for the past two years after Hurricane Maria, the preschool. Look at video of it again. And this is the assistance he talking about helping everybody and the preschool that you yourself went to. Boy, boy, you yourself went to that preschool. And you're talking about assistance, everybody got assistance. What about this preschool? The preschool is still not fixed. And I understand people who always watching Postmove always think Postmove is some kind of lavabo or something like that. But my way, sir, you talking and you go in New York and say everybody and you shouting. Just because you shouting and saying words that coming out of your mouth or whatever you feel like saying doesn't mean it doesn't make a difference. Your words must match reality. If your words doesn't match reality, then you're just talking in vain and just blagging because you feel like that is what the people want to hear. You cannot just give the people things that they want to hear. Tell them the truth. And then tell them how you're going to help fix these things. Don't lie for the people. Which 100% everybody in Dominica got help? What, what, what are you talking about? And I know you're going to see this video. <laughs> I know you're going to see that. I'm just seeing the, the things that people are thinking. I bring these things out there. Answer these questions. I know Ashton asked you a set of questions. You never answer not one of them. Not one of them. And yet you want us to forget about Ross. Ross that was helping the people. And I mentioned some time back. I would have definitely spoken about that. So let me do that for you guys right now. Now these are some of the informations. And I would like to reiterate them. Ian said that Ross left because government didn't give Ross permission to build. That is is very much incorrect like i said earlier on i was there when they gave ross the student center that they built and they had to build 400 new houses everybody in picard knew that and i'm glad that person sent me this so i can reiterate it guys let me help you understand some vibes there right under the freedom party miss charles allowed the locals to provide housing for ross students under the uwp government Mr. James told them, just let us know what you wanted and the locals will provide you with the kind of housing. But let the locals do it. As soon as DLP came in, Rosie allowed them to get into housing. Ross purchased the 75 houses I was talking about earlier, 75 rooms. And then the present PM um, signed permission for Ross to build 400 rooms. 
everybody in Pika know these things. So it was the DLP government that allowed them. So when he and them want to come and talk and say, oh, they were fighting and because they didn't do that, that, that is why Ross. That's lie. Ross wanted to come back and Ross was coming back to help the people of Dominica. It's just that they never fulfilled any of the obligations that Ross was asking for. So when they come in and say they was fighting for that, and that is, that is lie. They, they signed it already for it to be built. Ross was very much involved in the community. You see the street lights you see in Picard. Ross were the ones who put them there. You see this sidewalk from Wichich go all the way down to LA Enterprise. You see, you know who did this? This wasn't the LP. You know that they don't think there. That was Ross sponsored. This sidewalk going all the way up to Ross. Ross sponsored these things. Ross were also the ones who sponsored a lot of the football and cricket matches. Cricket matches, you know. Ross was heavily involved in the community. Ross also assisted people financially. We're also sending persons overseas for medical attention. So when they want us to forget about Ross, I find that very difficult. And Ian up there talking about they assisted all they had a diabetic clinic, they had all kind of things going on in the community for community outreach and all these things where people were taking their blood pressure and all kind of things going on. And they want us to forget. And Ian is on stage talking about they assisted everybody in Dominica and all the kind of craziness they done. <laughs> <laughs> Sacred Bed is one of the best places for you to marry and have a honeymoon now in the world. And Sacred Bed has become so famous and they have so many bookings that they cannot keep up for you to get a room at Secret Bay. You have to book about two years in advance. Guys, sometimes this thing does bother me, not in the sense where it'll affect me, so to speak, but it does bother me because a lot of people, they just pretty much accept everything that the person is saying, which doesn't make any sense to me. If reality doesn't meet what you're saying in your words, then what the heck are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Anyways, guys, <laughs> let me know your thoughts in this regard, man. Let me know your thoughts in this regard, please. Anyways, guys, I just here in the closet here, yeah, just decided to give this vlog my quick viewpoint and thoughts on, you know, what took place and transpiring different things and all these things um scared also gives some speeches and stuff but i i i ain't in all that stuff anyways guys this is all i have for today um it is about mr licks on mr licks vlogs remember guys give this video a thumbs up i would appreciate it and if you want to see more definitely subscribe and turn on the post notifications for to get all the videos as they come through <laughs> hello <laughs> remember guys be real and tell all the dirty rap people in stop their dirty stinking ways Stop it, Ian. Stop it, bro. Stop it, bro. And be positive.